Today we are going to start to develop an app for Garmin Forerunner 965. I decided to make a separate playlist for it because it's not a review anymore. Uh, you can develop an app for a Garmin device with a Garmin programming language called Monkey C. You will need to install a development environment. How to do it is very well described on Garmin website. I'll post a link and I think it's easy to figure out. The app that we're going to develop will be for basketball shooting practice, specifically for shooting three-point throws. So here is the concept. Here you can see the watch face. We will try to take advantage of uh, Garmin 965 uh, Forerunner uh, screen, which is AMOLED display, and we will uh, try to implement some graphics. So here that's the buttons of the watch. Uh, we will have as a background half court, basketball half court. I'll try to draw it here with a three point line like this and we will have a little object as a basketball ball and first thing we want to implement is a, a menu uh, at, at start we will have a basketball ball at the top of the key right here let me let me draw it here and it represents that uh, we offer to the user to start throwing ball shooting from this position but uh, when we press this button you can choose a different position on court here on the left wing so we will need uh, this uh, object to be drawn there on the screen and uh, if you press uh, that button up once again or if you press down, it will go back. So there will be five positions. Left corner, left wing, top of the key, right wing, right corner. And then uh, when you click select, it will go to the next part of the app. But for now, that's all we want to implement. So let's jump into development environment and I will guide you step by step on the development process. We are in Visual Studio Code and let's create new project. Uh, I am on uh, Mac OS, so the combination is Command Shift P. Nothing happens. Okay, new project. Set project name. Let's call it Splash. And now we select app type. Is it watch face or widget? We select watch app. It gives us the most functionality. Select a minimum supported API level. Uh, in the sample app on Garmin website, they select 320. Let's do 320. And now we need to select the folder. new folder called splash trust now the same combination command shift p and we added products we select that we de develop this app for uh, garmin forerunner 965 Okay, uh, so now let, let's see, here we have our, our app, it has uh, some sample app, so we'll just try to run it and see what it is. And to run it, we select one of the files with extension MC, which stands for Monkey C. Monkey C is the name of the programming language by Garmin, and uh, from here, we run, by the way, we have our SDK manager launched. From here, we go to run, run without debugging. 
Okay, you can see it here. There is one image of the monkey. There is some text here. Let's take a look. We go to a folder called Resources, Layouts, File Layout XML, and here we see that text which comes from a string Yeah, that was the text. Click the menu button. And in layouts, we can see also that image, monkey, which comes from the folder called drawables. So we don't need, we don't need this image. Let's del delete it. But we will need our images. Uh, let's put them in drawables file. Sorry, to drawables folder. Here, half court. And ball. So here we will just change ID of this object to half court. And uh, the position center, x coordinate center, y coordinate also center. So it's centered horizontally and vertically. And file name is half court. Now let's delete this text. Let's delete this string as well. At the same time, we can delete these menus. We don't use them. And we go to menus folder, menu XML. We don't need this. Pretty much we don't need this whole file. Now we go to our splash delegate file and delete this function. Then we go to splash menu delegate and delete the whole file. Now let's save it and see what we have for now. Run without debugging. We have here three delegate files, sorry, we have here three MC files, delegate, view, and app. Let's see what we have, okay. We don't have that image of the monkey, we don't have the text, and we have our background of the basketball half court. So three files, delegate, app, and view. Uh, pretty much view uh, will be taken care of uh, interface, and delegate will have the app itself, the business logic of the app. So what we can do now, let's start with delegate file. As I said, we have to select uh, three positions on court, either from top of the key, left wing, left corner, right wing, right corner. So let's call this, these positions one, two, three, four, five. And by default, when we launch the app, uh, the ball will will be here. So let's just go to the delegate file. And uh, here on top, we will declare a vari variable called position equals three, position three by default. And now let's do this. new function called on key and now 
we'll do this statement if key equals 8. Now how do I know it's 8? Uh, I don't know why, but uh, this button, press of this button, has value of 8. I, I had to test it and I found out. This key is 13. Or vice versa, one second. Let me... Okay, this key is 8 and this key is 13. So we'll take care of this key for now. Equals 8. Position increases by one. And let's print the value of uh, position to our debug console so that we know that something happens. position we need to import toy box system and now let's try run without debugging uh, let's go to our debug console and what do we expect when we press this button we expect value 4 because position 3 plus 1 4 here we can see 4 in our debug console so it works uh, let's continue building our app and uh, we'll add this statement if uh, the other key is pressed the up key position deduct one uh, also print uh, the value to the debug console and uh, let's add this functionality if position is already 5 don't increase uh, the value so the limit is the maximum position is 5 so it only adds 1 if position is less than 5 And here, if position is more than one, only then, only then deduct one. And uh, what else we will need to have in this um, in this statement? We want to update the view and here as well okay let's see what we have for now save run and look let's look at our debug console so for now our position is three at one we can see in the back console four five let's press again and we expect uh, the value to be no more than five we expect it to be five yeah right nothing happens and now let's press this button up four 
three, two, one. Let's press again. Nothing happens. So the position goes from one to five. From one to five. All right, that's all we wanted to have in our delegate file. And in the next lesson, we'll take a look at our view file and we'll, we'll work a little bit there.